All right, we are getting started. So we're splitting the deck here. I'm just going to do a couple shufflings here, Libra. We're going to get started on your reading now. We're going to get a couple of tarot cards at the beginning here for your daily love read today. We're going to check out Twin Flame Energy in the general. These cards were saged this morning. Welcome back to the channel. We also have Study, Sleep, Relax for today, but it's lo-fi. And um, I, I started to dye my hair today, but I think I'm going to ruin it. So... Um, we got a couple here already. Okay, Libra, let's check the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. That's the Eight of Voices. So this first message is you're overcoming fears or you're currently processing them at the current time. Also, we can see beyond our fears what the truth is. How is it lying? How is it falling, right? Eight of Swords is what we're trying to unblind ourselves from. Uh, and sometimes it's hard to stare this in the face. This is the first message today, Six of Pentacles, right after that. So you might get um, some loving energies coming to you. We have a couple cards here, unturned. I don't even know what they are. That's how it always goes. Welcome back to the channel. I hope this video finds you full of healing today. I hope it provides you with a safety. You are safe on this channel as always, and I wish you luck on your reading. Also, please let me know how your personal situation resonates with this in the comments. I'd like to know how you're doing in the current, and just share your story, because every time you share with a fellow Libran, especially if they're going through something very, very similar to you, they want to hear about it. It's in the healing in and of itself. If you guys are ever in that process and you see that someone's like, I'm going through that, I feel that, um, it's sometimes in your writing that causes the healing. Seven of Wands, okay? Guarded energy. If you look at the card too, she's protecting the sides here. She's holding it at bay, okay? She's protecting her circumference, right? Some of us ladies do this. And the North Node star is above her. So I want you to look at this Seven of Wands. It is called the Seven of Inspiration because the inspiration cards in this deck are wands, okay? So there's guarded energy. We're going to get one card for why this is happening. So this is a deep dive today. Also, welcome back. The moon, Cancer and Pisces energy. Do we have secrets here we're facing? Are we facing someone's particular secret toward us? Did somebody tell us one? Um, the moon energy comes in is very love. You know, it's associated to a love thing today. Um, and I'm going to have to lower the music. It's kind of overpowering in this session. Four of Wands, a commitment energy. Whether you are promising this to yourself, you're going to stay committed to the fight, which is you. You're going to stand up for yourself or this is actually a gathering or a community event that you're involved with coming up because that's what the card means. It means we're either gathering, this is taking place at home, or we want this energy. It's a desire, okay? All right. I did want to mention too today, um, do you guys know Britney Spears wrote a memoir recently? It's a rather big tell-all that has just come out. I'm so excited to go read this because if you adhere to certain celebrities that you find very much mirror you in path or they even display some of the same personalities, which I feel like I relate to her in so many ways because I'm raising two boys of my brothers. Um, I'm, I can't wait to go read this novel. I feel like she has an Akashic story to tell. Um, and I did want to mention this. So if you kind of feel like you're like a celebrity or their life has mirrored you in some way, go check out their story. Read about how they grew up because it's a part of the Akashic record in a modern sense. All right. Just a little tidbit, little tip here as we share. All right. Let's check out the seven of wands. I have a shuffled deck here. These are my clarifiers. What's the seven of wands? Why do we feel guarded? What's going on here? Knight of cups. All right, did you send somebody packing? <laughs> I think you sent an old person packing. You're guarded towards maybe a new person. The Knight of Cups can be a new person coming in. We have that here, romantic energy in your clarifiers. They come in as water signs in your reading, or I usually pick up fire. So we will distinguish who your new person is, okay, in this check-in. Ace of Pentacles, you sense an offer. Uh, some of you maybe are not even expecting an Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you say to this card today, I don't even find that it resonates with me. This is not affecting me in the current. I don't have a gift <laughs> and that's fine because when I see the Ace of Pentacles, you know, and nobody over here is getting a gift. So I look at this as I can gift myself. I can bring this energy to myself. I'm a Libra, so I can make my life actually happier by my own hand. And sometimes it's you stepping into the situation 
that it's not about control, you know, Libra. It's about changing the fate of your own future, your destiny, maybe even making yourself happy. You can be your own date type of thing. So we don't rest on our laurels with the card's meaning. Uh, we can change this for ourselves. And this card can have a whole new meaning in the future for us too. So Ace of Pentacles, how do you define that offer for you today? And, you know, change it up. Ace of Pentacles doesn't have to be a gift for you. Uh, why else is this guarded energy happening? Thank you, Spirit and my angels. We have the Nine of Swords. So you or your person can have this Nine of Swords energy. It's Gemini. So you could have Gemini placements as a possibility. However, it means that there's worry that's been incontinence here. It's been going on. Uh, you could have picked this up lately too. You know, maybe the future here seems rather up and down. It's not having some, you know, certainty to it in the current time. However, your angels want to know that people are here for you. There's care, okay? You can even care for yourself if there's no one around. And I also feel like some of you have a parent that maybe you've talked to in the last few days. I'm picking up like parental energy for you or you've reached out to an older sibling. Hearing their story or hearing someone's overcoming of something rather difficult can definitely help you in this certain situation. Again, also I'm picking up someone could be bringing some good um, advices to you, the Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords right on time, okay? Even if you got a big sister here on the channel. All right, Libra Sun, just like you guys. <laughs> so let's check out the moon. The moon's important, so let's do that. The moon, please. Can I see Cancer and Pisces energy? As an intuitive, I pick it up as Pisces as well. Ten of Pentacles. The moon is going to reveal that the abundance resides in your corner. All you have to do is tap into your skill level. Some of you are ultra smart. Uh, you work effectively even at your place of occupation. You might be a very dependable person here and you have snazzy ways of doing something. Tap into that, okay? It's your resources. It's your inner strengths, Libra, that I think you have to call back in. We forget this as human beings and all we have to do is say, where are my strongest? Where are my weaknesses too? So I can evaluate it, but where are my strengths? more so. Ten of Pentacles. You could also be thinking about the future too, where you're going to put your coin. That's also a Pentacles card. So your finances could be something you're planning or strategizing in the moment. It might even reveal something to you, like there's a secret sauce. The moon can also be something that you find out, okay? Because it reveals those hidden secrets eventually. All things that come, or all things that are born in the dark come to light. And I kind of feel that energy as I do the reading. There's something here coming out of the dark. Okay, uh, let's proceed. Wheel of Fortune. So that's a splasher here. I call it a splasher because it goes straight to the camera and I have to catch it. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. It speaks of fixed sign energy. Fixed signs are very stubborn. However, the Wheel of Fortune is turning as fate. Now, how do we describe this in the modern tense? How do we look at the Wheel of Fortune? It means our prayers, our deepest desires, things we've wished into the universe or we've said, it's actually been heard by the 5D. So I want to look deeper into your Wheel of Fortune. We have to like really assess this as older adults. What is that fancy full card of the Wheel of Fortune? And Vanna White. Do you guys remember Vanna? She would always turn over the letters on Wheel of Fortune. The Five of Wands. It's going to reveal that there was a past here where too many people were involved. Okay, this is this can be a lot of voices in the circumstance as well. I also get for a lot of Libras that people push their way through a circumstance they had no business being in. You're going to find out in the current that the conflict and conflict resolution are happening here. This can even draw out co-workers you have issues with or there's something that's not right uh, where you left it with a group of people and this is actually resolving in the current five of wands. Can I see the wheel of fortune? What's going on here with that? Strength. You got the strength card with Leo today. This is how powerful you are. This is how you utilize your manifestation skills too. I think you're a very powerful person, Libra, now, especially when you wish things, okay? When you happen to manifest, when you're working hard to do that too, putting in the muscle. And I think here, Spirit's going to co-create with you with the Strength card. 
you could be working on a project. Uh, this can be above financial and love matters. It's just something that you take heed to and you have passion for. And if you haven't gotten there yet, you have time to find out what you're passionate about today in the video. It can even be something as small as, I'm gonna go back and oil paint. I have to pick up something creative on my side, you know, my side time. So I think it's more of a creative project too, something you can put your heart into and express yourself. All of us are individuals. All we need to do is just express that in something we love, right? So strength card for you. Um, let's see what else is here. I had a song too today that I needed to share with you. I'll put it in the comments. It was rather important. So I'll put that there. Uh, four of Wands now. What's the Four of Wands in this major check-in? The Devil with Capricorn. This is all things toxic. It does involve fears too. Could involve a person you had dealings with. You are finding out this person had a way of concocting, you know, maybe a lie to you or they were very toxic in approach. They never treated you right. Their way of speaking was rather, you know, you had to discern through it, right Libras? You could be finding out what that uh, mystical thing that they did to you was all about. Uh, it could be lies. It could be deceit. I also think here someone's lusty, lusty fresty in our video today, and you were tapped in. You saw through the BS, okay? Now, many readers are not going to tell it like that. They're not going to say it to you in that fashion, but you obviously felt it in the moment. We also have new love energy here. We have that wheel. Can I see the wheel of fortune one more time as a clarification? The Page of Swords coming in in 50% energy, okay, <laughs> and RG. We also have a, a spy. This is someone who's curious or it's your intelligence to go search about something. So with the Wheel of Fortune, I think what's here is you're gathering curiosity to find out new things, okay, maybe an easier way of doing something. It's also causing your healing at the same time. It's a healing card. I feel like it's your curiosity that is beautiful. Go search for those new things. If it's a book title, uh, like I told you today, I'm gonna go get Britney Spears' novel. That's something I would have never typically read or it's something that maybe you have to draw out. Um, and some of you are very visual Libras. So maybe seeing it in front of you is gonna help. And you know if that message is for you. Okay, so something tangible, something you can touch, right? Like this, touch it every day. Um, let's go for that four of ones. What's the uh, committal energy there going on with that? Okay, so we have a knight of pentacles. Right now, love is so slow. That's what I'm picking up is I'm hearing someone saying that like, why hasn't happened for me yet? Why haven't I got to that place where I can share with my friends? I got a new boo, you know, Knight of Pentacles, very slow, uh, less to be rapid or the lack of being rapid. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be very attracted to you right now and also water signs because I have a new love card here. It fell under the wheel of fortune. Okay, I want to show you a couple dynamics that I see. So when I see adjacent cards like this, it's a signal for me as an intuitive and a channeler to tell you why there's a connection or if there is one. And they were just touching each other like this. Okay, so I'm going to put them back. That's something for you to think about. Food for thought, FFT. And let's see your conclusion. What's going on today for the Libra, the sun? Okay, three of pentacles and the king of cups. Somebody thinks of you in the current Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't think this person knows what to do anymore. It's kind of like a flash in the pen. Okay, that's how I want it. That's how I got it as a channel. I saw him a flash in the pan. You might want to look up what that means too, because that could be something in your story or your personal struggles here with a person. Let me check the bottom of the deck from my other shuffled. This is the Awaken from yesterday. King of Swords, the world, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So we have another offer of something here. Water sign energy. I think that Page of Cups is going to be something you see again. It's not going to really deteriorate in your readings. And the Three of Pentacles is huge because it's your outcome. How do we explain this in modern day to a Libra going through things? It means there's possibility for collaboration. Okay? I'm going to say it one more time. The possibility... For collaboration whether it's in love it's a work situation or you got friends around you that care this can also be family pentacles card okay 
uh, ask yourself today what the Three of Pentacles means for you in the general sense, okay, of your life. And we also have an Emperor in the last spot. Aries energy. You could be an Aries moon. Some of you are. I pick up that you want to have this Emperor quality in your life, taking control over an era or a part of your soul that needs mending. And that's for some of you only. So don't take it literally today in the video. It's just a helpful hint. Look up the card, like the verbs for the emperor, because I feel like drawing from the north node is going to be a huge strength for you, okay? Especially feminine energy. Look up the emperor and how you would like to translate that. All right, part one is already here for you. Uh, bigger cards of the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups. I also see here a curiosity. So in the bonus today, we're going to find out what this Page of Swords really deflects into the situation and how do we admire even this card, the Page of Swords. It's also funny because modernly it's a spy, okay, whenever you watch tarot or whenever you watch these readings. But this can take on a whole new meaning because it's also your suit. It's Libra, Gemini, Aquarian as well, all right? Could be a new thing you pick up too. All right, reading one is here. So we will do a bonus today. I'm also doing Libra with water. So if you have water, you have a video. I hope this helped you. Uh, I hope it's healing again, Libras. I know Libras have been through it this year. It hasn't been a very difficult, or I'm sorry, a very easy ride for us. I'll catch you in our video too. Thank you for all of your comments and support. It means a lot to me, like running this channel on my own. Um, I'm not a mainstream tarot channel, so this has been a very hard year to get it off to its footing, but I thank you for your time. Your time is very valuable to me, as always. I'll see you in the